Hello everyone, I'm Emma and I'm your storyteller for tonight. Tonight's story is Super Chunky the Elephant and this is chapter 11. Dino didn't hesitate. This wasn't about him. This was bigger than his fears, much bigger. Hetty the hippo needed help and he was going to help her. Whoosh! Dino flapped his wings. Whoosh! 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 And with one final push, he was airborne. He wasted no time in flying as fast as he could, and within moments he had reached the top of the chocolate fountain. He could see the problem straight away, and poor Hetty was there, stuck in the fountain tube. She waved frantically when she saw Dino. At first, he thought she was waving because she was afraid of him, and that made him want to fly away. But then he remembered Chunky's words, and he remembered being brave wasn't not being scared, it was carrying on and doing the right thing, whether he was scared or not. Dino pulled himself together and he shouted down to Hetty, Don't worry, I can see the blockage and I'm going to remove it and set you free. With that, he coughed as if to clear his throat and then took a deep breath and blew. Only he didn't blow with his mouth open wide, as that would have led to flames, and he didn't want to melt the whole fountain. No, for this he needed just enough heat to melt the chocolate plug that had formed at the top of the fountain and was blocking poor Hetty in. Dino instead blew through his nose and out puffed hot white clouds of puffy white smoke which bobbed their way through the air and collected at the top of the fountain. Gradually they started to melt the chocolate. Dino's plan was working. Encouraged, Dino puffed a few more smoke clouds and then a few more until the chocolate had all melted and run down the sides. Soon, Hetty would be free. But there was still one problem. No one could reach inside low enough to pull her out, and she was presently still stuck in some chocolate further down the tube of the fountain. Dino couldn't melt that chocolate without melting Hetty, so he flew a little closer and explained, The top is clear. I'm going to get help to pull you free. Hetty nodded and mouthed, Thank you, as Dino flew down. Fortunately, by this time, several other things had happened. Chunky had made his way over to the fountain and was by now helping Trolley and Hetty's hippo friend put the finishing touches on the bridge they had built in super quick time. With Trolley's bridge know-how and extra help from extra hands, his bridge was coming along really well, and so the other hippos who were stranded on the higher levels of the fountain could be rescued. Being Trolley's bridge, it was of course no ordinary bridge, and so he could move it easily from point to point, from one layer to another and in doing so, all the hippos were able to get down. It was just Hetty left, and so Trolley moved his bridge to the tube she was stuck inside, and Trunky climbed up. Hello, Hetty, he called through the tube. I'm here to help you. My name's Trunky, he said, and I have an idea. With that, Trunky climbed to the top of the bridge and called down. In a moment, I'm going to lower my trunk down and I need you to cling on to it and use it like a rope, he said. Hetty nodded to show she had understood, and so Chunky did exactly as he had said and lowered his trunk down to her. Hetty managed to grasp it and hold on. Chunky pulled and pulled, and he heaved and pulled some more. But it was no good. He wasn't strong enough to pull Hetty out. He was about to take a break before trying again, when suddenly Chunky realised he had company. Trolley and Dino, seeing what was happening, had come to help, and so Trolley held on to Chunky and Dino on to Trolley, and together they pulled again. Dino flapped his wings to get some extra force behind them, and pop! Out popped Hetty with such speed she came flying out of the tube, knocking over Chunky, Trolley and Dino as she went, before landing in a heap. She soon hopped back to her feet and ran to the three friends. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! she said, as she tried her best to throw her arms around all three of them. I don't know what I'd have done without you. You saved me. You are all my heroes. As they climbed back down Trolley's bridge, they were greeted by the rest of the hippos, who were all waiting for them, and stood, clapping them, as they all made their way back down. Bravo! Bravo! they cheered. Your bravery saved us! It was all down to this guy, Dino pointed to Chunky. He helped me to believe in myself, said Dino. And he taught me to use my bridge-building skills for good, said Trolley. He's not just chunky to us, 
He's super chunky. Chunky felt abashed and was somewhat overwhelmed by such compliments. But I couldn't have done any of this without you both, he said. You taught me to listen to my heart, to trust my instincts and to be brave, even if I feel scared. Without you, I'd have never had the confidence in myself to know what to do. And with that, the three friends huddled together for a celebratory high five. That's the end of tonight's chapter. Night night. See you soon.